The steroid hormones produced from the inner zone of the adrenal cortex, the zona reticularis, are weak androgens. Androgen refers to male-type hormones, related to but much weaker than testosterone. But the adrenal androgens are actually found in both men and women. Adrenal androgens are important before birth, but as an adult, these are the least important of the hormones from the adrenal cortex. Because men have full-strength testosterone produced by their testes, their weak adrenal androgens do very little. However, women have much lower levels of testosterone, and so the weak androgens from their adrenal cortex have a relatively greater role. They're used to promote pubic hair growth and libido. The middle zone of the adrenal cortex is called the zona fasciculata. When stimulated by adrenocorticotrophic hormone from the anterior pituitary, this zone produces the corticosteroid hormone called cortisol. Cortisol is referred to as a stress hormone, released in particular during chronic stress. Because it's a steroid, it can get into cells around the body and has a large number of effects. One of them is that it increases blood glucose levels through a number of different mechanisms, including promoting gluconeogenesis in the liver. Gluconeogenesis means making new glucose from substrates including amino acids. Because it increases blood glucose levels, and it comes from the adrenal cortex, cortisol is known as a glucocorticoid hormone. It has other roles in the body too though, including suppressing certain parts of the immune system and having an anti-inflammatory role. How exactly this is helpful when you're chronically stressed is not immediately clear, but cortisol may have a breaking role in preventing immunity and inflammation from getting out of control. We can make use of this for medical purposes. Synthetic glucocorticoid hormones, very similar to cortisol in structure, can be used as immunosuppressants, for example for patients undergoing organ transplantation. Other glucocorticoid derivatives are found in anti-inflammatory creams, such as those used to treat eczema. The outer zone of the adrenal cortex is the zona glomerulosa. The cells in this zone secrete another corticosteroid hormone called aldosterone. Aldosterone affects the body's mineral balance, and because of this, it's referred to as a mineralocorticoid. In particular, it promotes the reabsorption of sodium from the kidney and other tissues around the body. That means that the body loses less sodium, and assuming we're still eating salt normally, if we excrete less sodium, we retain more salt in the body. Because water tends to follow salt osmotically, if you hang on to more salt, you hang on to more water. So aldosterone would help you to increase your plasma volume and therefore your blood pressure. And this is particularly useful following dehydration or haemorrhage. Aldosterone also has a very important role in controlling the body's potassium balance, but we won't go into that here. <laughs>